I got a little story for you. So, my wife and I are completely opposites in regards to some different things that we do. And I've been told that in life that's a good thing, that it, opposites attract and all that. Uh, so, when I, we went on vacation one time, what happened was we had the opportunity to do a lot of cool things because we went on a cruise and everything I told my wife that I wanted to do, she was like, I'm not doing that. What? You want to you wanna swim with sharks? No way. I'm like, okay. Do you want to pet a dolphin? No way. I'm like, that's a dolphin. What's a dolphin going to do? Uh, and, but I finally convinced her, along with a couple of my friends that we went on this cruise with, to go snorkeling with stingrays. And the whole time she's just like nervously doing it because she's terrified of the ocean because she doesn't know what's out there, right? Uh, she doesn't know what to expect. So we get there and long story short, you know, she jumps in the ocean first. She's the first one to jump in. And I'm like, yeah, go Katie. My wife is awesome. You got this. Uh, but then, like, as people, other people are jumping in the water, the captain, like, talks to me, which is weird, because I didn't really talk to him much, but he said, huh, weird, and I just go, what, what's weird? He says, the stingrays are acting really weird, really strange, must be a hammerhead shark around, no worries, if it gets too close, I'll, I'll just call y'all back in, like, uh, if you're not worried, I'm not worried, but I'm not gonna tell my wife that until she gets back on board, because if not, she'd freak out the entire time. So, uh, I told her when she got back, and she was furious at that point, because she's terrified of the ocean. She doesn't know what's out there. She can't see where the sharks are. So her doing that was like a very big step. Now there's a quote that sums up kind of what I'm talking about today that I might've shared with you guys before. And it says, fear, is the worry that the unknown is upon us and we are trapped waiting to see what the unknown brings. I feel like we can all relate to that a lot of times because the unknown causes fear. You don't know what's going to happen, naturally you get a little scared. You get a little scared about what's going to happen. But how do you fight the fears that come? How can you push past the fears? The only way can be proven in scripture. So there's a story in Matthew 8, 23 through 27. It says, Then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The, uh, the disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. He replied, You have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. That's Matthew 8, 23 through 27. See, the only way to beat through fear is to be in a spot where you can have faith that's greater than your fear. We have to take heart every time we're afraid that we believe in a God that has overcome everything. So what do we have to be afraid of if we believe what we say we believe? In John 16, 33, it says, in this world, you will have troubles. Yeah, a lot of us are having troubles right now. But take heart, for I've overcome the world. That's how that ends. So whenever things get rough, whenever things get meh or gross, you can just think about this and be like, yeah, what do I have to worry about? God's got my back. <laughs>